my dreams are not my own. They are always the same. And this one starts the same as any other. I am floating through a dark place. There are lights, but not the kind that provide comfort. These are more like streaks of light that can only see in my periphery. Trying to look is pointless. They are always just beyond my field of view. But I know this to be temporary. The good stuff comes soon. Rays of light begin to penetrate the dark, along with a feeling of warmth. It's like watching a favorite movie. Sounds of birds and wildlife begin to filter in, and suddenly I, I am outside, still floating on what I have long ago decided must be a stream. It is actually incredibly relaxing and euphoric, and I look forward to this part. The only small blip registering in the back of my mind is that there are no random eddies or changes in direction. I do not scrape over rocks and bob lazily as I move. As a result, it feels artificial, like it's not quite right. All this passes through my mind as a vague blur. I am distracted as my vision fills with a beautiful blue sky, splattered with haphazard white clouds. The banks of the stream on either side are filled with trees, their branches hanging out over the water. I often wonder what it would be like to climb them, but not today. Today I watch the clouds. Clouds are always the same. Sometimes they are in different places, as if rotated on a dial. But I know them like old friends. That one looks like a dog. That one a dragon wing. I can't see the chicken today. It is as if I'm stationary and the world moves past me. I am powerless to stop the train from rolling and I know what's coming next. I'm not sure how long I drift down the stream. Minutes, hours, dreams are tricky like that. And then it comes, the waterfall. Eerily, I never hear it first. This bothers me perhaps more than anything else, although that thought too fades into oblivion. Suddenly the mist of the waterfall is everywhere and all around me. I can see I'm headed straight for it. Even now, after thousands of times, I still can't resist the urge to struggle. Some days I am able to calm myself more than others. Today is not one of those days. Still panicking, I try and brace myself while acknowledging that this is all in my head. Either way, the roar of the water grows ever louder. Normally, I simply fall over the waterfall. The falling sensation acts as a catalyst to wake my senses. The fall is timed perfectly so that when I land in the pool of water at the bottom, I am emerging from the dream. It's actually quite an invigorating way to wake up. I think it's a bit stressful on purpose to accelerate the waking process. But today, this doesn't happen. Something is seriously wrong. This notion is only confirmed when the waterfall starts to flow up. Like the end of a conveyor belt being peeled upwards, the entire reality of what is around me folds up. The ground, water, sky, all of it peels upwards 90 degrees. For a moment, if I look straight forward, I can see straight down the waterfall, which confuses my brain. I don't really even have a chance to acknowledge the disorientation as reality continues to bend in a circle looping over top of me. My beautiful sky view fills with a landscape that up until a moment ago was right in front of me. As I enter the tip of this new reality, I catch a glimpse of the waterfall flowing up right above me. My mind lurches as I hit the bent reality of my dream and suddenly my own gravity shifts to follow. Now, instead of up, my perspective seems straight. What is up and down blurs as my brain struggles to orient itself. As I continue forward, the reality loop bends tighter and tighter, causing my perspective to shift again and again in rapid succession. Up and down shifts so quickly it's dizzying. It's as if the dream is lagged in trying to ride my perspective. I need to wake up. If I could scream, I could, but I am ever frozen, only able to watch as the stream disintegrates in front of me. With each gravity shift, I start to notice pieces of my dream missing dark holes where there should be a tree, patches of sky missing indicating a void beyond the artificial blue. Shift, lower void, shift, a sky, shift, large areas of the ground fall away, shift, the air right in front of me is now blackness. And before I even have time to wonder what that means, gravity shifts again and I'm in the void. It's quiet here. I am surrounded by infinite darkness except for a single point of light. All I can do is focus my senses on that like an anchor of hope. As if waiting for me to do just that, the single point of light explodes into a myriad of stars. The chaotic beauty of color is hypnotizing. Each light moves and accelerates in seemingly random direction. And it is the most wonderful thing I have ever experienced. My own sense of self is lost as I am consumed by the infinite dance. I don't know how long I stare, but I know I am losing myself. Warning bells start to go off in my brain when they are so far away. A vague concept that I can get to later, I just need to watch the lights. They are so pretty. 
Then like a lifeline, I suddenly recognize a single flash. And then another, the lights are taking shape. Pictures, symbols, words, all rushing past me faster and faster in somehow a familiar yet terrifying construct. And then I'm awake. I can tell because my ceiling is greeting me and I can hear my breathing. It is heavy and stressed and I'm pretty sure I'm sweating. Did I cry out? I think I did. This is not a calm awakening. It is always a calm awakening. For the first time, I miss my waterfall. The familiar face and voice of my construct avatar fills my senses flashing across my ceiling. Good morning, Quinn. It is Tuesday, September 7th, 2321. Flow is mildly turbulent this morning. Would you like your senses heightened this morning? But my mind is elsewhere. I can still feel the terror of having my world disintegrate around me and the disorientation is lingering. With a shake, I climb out of bed and walk. I need blood to flow. I need to focus. The construct shifts from the ceiling to the wall in front of me while all other surfaces shift with interwoven streams of color. Every surface of my house is made up of a smooth, adaptive polymer designed to adapt to my senses and my physical position. Everything can fill my brain with the flow. It is as if I am walking on glass over top the ocean. Except instead of fish, I see videos, ads, notifications, messages, an endless flow of information. I am walls in my working space, fluidly shifting as I move. The implant in the top of my spinal cord is directing the flow to adapt to my desire. A video catches my eye. Instantly, a three-dimensional holographic projection appears right directly in front of me. More fighting in the reach. There is always fighting in the reach. Disinterested, I wave my hand as I walk through it. The holographic projection parts for me and returns to the ocean down the 